Okay, so um, thank you for joining me on this live stream. Today, I just wanted to show you a book that I really like. It's actually not a book. It's a catalog from, um, from an exhibit. It's an exhibit by um, sculptor Manuel Neri. This is from 1994, an exhibit he had at the Corcoran Gallery of Art. But I wanted to show it to you because I think that it's important to show that uh, the influences that you get from uh, other artists are really important to your art, even though the media might not look the same and not might not feel the same. It might be almost completely different. As you can see, he's got a very painterly sort of um, drawing style and painting style, even though he's primarily a sculptor. But his his line making, the way he shapes. The forms that he that he uses are really influential to me, and the way that I try to use syringe art to uh, express my own artistic uh, view. So this is Manuel Neri. As I said, he's a Bay Area artist, uh, primarily a sculptor. But take a look at this drawing, for example. It's a figure, obviously. But it's very stylized. It um, shows you the shapes, but he's not worried about are these lines really the lines that make up a figure? These are just marks, but we can definitely see the figure, and the figure is definitely expressive. And I think that, in a way, I would like to have some of my syringe paintings look a little bit more like this in the sense that they're not being fully representational, but they are expressing uh, something about the figure, something about the um, subject of the, of the drawing that I'm making to make it feel authentic. So let me show you a couple of other things. Uh, look at this figure here. Okay, so this is a sitting figure. Um, and in this one, I want to point out the colors. Uh, notice the brightness of the colors, how the colors are not really realistic. And you'll see in a lot of my syringe paintings, the colors aren't realistic either. Um, this bright yellow background, the blue, the blue figure on top, the uh, sort of maroon, dark red, maroon leg. Maybe it's leggy and I'm not sure, but... If it is, you know, it's it's a little bit odd. You have a blue head, blue arm, a maroon leg, maybe this is a little bit green, I guess. And then her lower back and her buttocks are more pink and yellow. So the colors are not realistic at all. They are um, just what feels right for the painting at the moment. And that's something also that's really important. If you notice, if you look at one of my paintings, um, the one of Pedro, his face is actually sort of green and yellow, and it's got some browns in it, but it's not a realistic face in the in terms of the colors. And this is the kind of um, influence that I have had in terms of choosing my colors, not to make them realistic, whether it's you know, pinks or oranges or browns or whatever it is that the subject really is, but rather what works and what makes sense in terms of the painting itself. So that's what I wanted to show you guys today. And um, if you, uh, I don't know where you can get this catalog anymore. I, it was published in 1994 um, by the Cochrane Gallery of Art uh, in Washington, D.C., and um, maybe you can find it in some um, art stores or my guess is, you know, your best bet would be Amazon or maybe eBay or some some online bookstores that specialize in in art and uh, catalogs. It might be your, the best place if you want to get something like this. All right. So thank you so much for joining me on this short live stream and um, we'll see you later.